Hello, everyone. My name is Monica. Hey, my name is Arkadi. And we are the founders of Yoga for Couples. <laughs> so we are Team Balanced and uh, Team Balanced had an idea. We wanted to help people find a way to a balanced life. And then we started to niche in to procrastination. And then one day I was doing yoga and this man here got very excited while I was doing yoga and he tried to do a few poses and he noticed that it created a lot of intimacy. So let us be perfectly clear. This is not about sex. This is not a Kama Sutra. This is, we are fully clothed. This is about teamwork and creating connection and bringing back that spark into your relationship. So what we have created together is a program where you have 25 plus poses. You can do each pose separately. Each pose is between three minutes up until seven minutes long or you can choose to put them together into one long program or mix and match them depending on what you guys want to achieve so we're going to give you a little example here of what you can do with all of the different poses and we've made this super simple we have named the poses in the most simplest of ways so it doesn't confuse you so we're going to start with the couple's connection and this is super easy you find a pose that feels comfortable for you so either you can sit in a cross-legged position or you can sit in a hero's pose and then you just grab onto each other and this is important that you're holding into each other's palms okay so the palm connection is the most important here so find something that's comfortable and a recommendation is for you to use a pillow under your sit bones if it's uncomfortable for you to see in a cross-legged position all right are you ready my love okay so let's start by closing our eyes when we close our eyes we go inwards when we go inwards it's easier to tap into that connection and remember the the word yoga means union. So what you're unifying is yourself with your body. And now we're extending that union into the connection with our partner. So imagine that you have this connection going all the way from the core, all the way out through your arms into the palms of your partner's hands and feel that connection. So let's breathe together a few times. We're going to inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth together. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do this again. Inhale. And exhale. And one more time. Inhale and exhale and just come back to your regular breath pattern feel your partner's energy for the palm of your hands and if the word energy feels a little bit out there just see if you can feel your partner so either by touch maybe caressing the palms without losing focus and just putting yourselves into here and now allowing yourselves to be in the present moment. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. If it feels okay for you, give each other a little kiss. And let's get into the first working pose. So we're going to have our backs to each other here for this one. So you can choose to sit with your legs straight or in a butterfly position. So butterfly position, you have your feet together. Exactly. And here it's really important that you're not forcefully putting your body weight onto your partner. You need to, from the sit bones, you need to have that long and neutral spine. So have that core engage relax your arms over your knees 
and find that posture. So core engaged, big open chest, deep breaths here. See if you can just relax the top of your heads or the back of your heads rather. Hold it there. Take one deep breath. And now you're gonna lean back into a little neck stretch. Left chin to left chin and just breathe here. Just a deep breath, hold it here. See if you can find a way to be still. Just hearing each other breathe. Taking one more deep breath. and gently bring yourselves back. And now I'm gonna lean all the way forward as much as it feels good for me. And my partner is gonna gently just relax his body weight into my back, opening the arms to the side, opening the chest, and just allowing himself to be completely relaxed. Good. So this is completely up to me and my flexibility, how much I'm allowing him to come into my space. But what is important here that he finds a stillness. So there's no bouncing here. And this is something that's really important when we work together as a team, no bouncing. Yes, everything is nice and relaxed and gentle. Take a deep breath, inhale, and now Arkady is going to start by bringing himself back. And when I feel that he's coming up, I can gently bring myself vertebra by vertebra all the way up and come back to that neutral position. Take one deep breath, inhale. And exhale. And let's do right chin to right chin leaning into each other and again the finding that breath And now gently one more breath and bring yourselves back. And now it's time for Arkady to bend forward. And as he bends forward, I'm gonna try to listen and tap into his body and put my arms out to the side and just relaxing over his back. So I'm relaxed in my neck. And it's really important here that Arkady finds a way to breathe through this stretch. This is a deep hip flexor stretch. So holding it still is very important here. Just deep breaths. And every time he inhales and exhales, he tries to loosen his muscles around his hips a little bit more. And then one more deep breath, inhale. And exhale. And I'm going to start by lifting myself now gently. And when Arkady feels that the pressure is off his back, he can bring himself up vertebra by vertebra. So we're going to stay in that butterfly position. 
And from here, we're now gently going to reach towards each other's right side, twisting towards the right. So I'm going to press my right hand into his thigh and my left hand into my thigh, lifting myself up and looking back into the room. Holding it there, relaxing that leg. And now gently bring ourselves back to center. Let's bring the arms all the way up. And one deep breath, inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, relax. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, relax. Inhale, shoulders up. And exhale, relax, letting go. And now we're gonna twist to the left side of each other. Same principle here, pressing down into each other's legs, opposite leg into our own, feeling that pull, feeling us getting longer, looking back, opening up that chest even more. Good, deep breaths here. I love you too. Deep breath. And coming back to center. And this time when we reach the hands, my hands are going to be on the inside and his are going to be on the outside. And we're going to inhale, lift the shoulders. Exhale, bring it back. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, relax. And one more inhale, lift. And exhale, relax. And from here, just open out to the side. Very good. All right, now we're gonna go into child's position. And we have child's position in two possible ways. My partner leaning his front into my back or him leaning his back into my front. But since we already did, uh, I know. <laughs> uh, since we already did a chest opener with the leaning back, we're gonna focus on the front toward the back. So I'm gonna start in child's position and you're gonna hug me from the back, okay? So it's really important to have, that you have space when you go into the child's position to find something that feels good for you, offloading the feet, gently placing your sit bones into your heels and relaxing into the mat. And from here, Akkad is basically gonna take a frog position where he opens his knees out to the side and finding a way to wrap himself around me and just hold it there. So what he's doing here, he's putting his body weight onto me. So I am feeling that pressure drawing down into my tailbone. Exactly. And him is feeling the offload in his lower back as well. And allowing that deep connection as a couple. That trust to build up, moment of intimacy, moment of reconnection. And you can choose here to stay as long as you guys feel comfortable. But since we're going to go, this is a very nice pose, by the way, but since we're going to go into a little more of a sequence, Akkad is now going to gently let me go, bringing himself up. And when I feel that he is lifted, I can bring myself gently back. And then we switch. 
So Gadi is going to find himself into a child's position that feels good for him. Offloading the feet, right? Yes. And now I'm gent I'm gently going to open up into a frog position, but I am actually gonna try to come a little bit over him here. Exactly, and just relax into him, holding him like this instead. You can always ask your partner, does it feel okay? Mm -hmm. Remember to breathe. Using touch. without a bouncy movement, of course. So he can breathe into that position. And now gently I'm going to help myself up without putting pressure on him. So I need to use my core to bring myself back. And he can now vertebrae by Berta come. Very good. All right. Let's do downward facing dog with something that Akadi loves to call the good morning pose. Morning. Yes, the good morning pose. So here it's important for me to find my downward facing dog. So if you give me some space here, my love, and this is a good place to start in a tabletop position, making sure that you are aligned from your hands into the elbows, into the shoulders. Then I'm gently going to lift my knees and bringing myself all the way up, making sure that I have a good distance and pressing down into my fingertips my stomach is drawing into my spine big open chest activation so arkadi is now going to find exactly his feet hip width apart so toes front heels back my love exactly maybe i can open up a little bit more here for him good and now when he does the good morning pose, he's going to do a little back extension here, lifting his head all the way up and opening and coming back. He's going to do this two more times. Inhale, open. Exhale, back. Inhale, open and exhale back and now i'm gently gonna bend my knees and come back all the way down and now we're gonna switch so akad is gonna find his tabletop position i'm gonna allow him the space to find it exactly Pressing down the toes, lifting the heels, exactly good. So I can see that I have actually enough space here to come. Yeah, my love, you don't need to open up that wide. There you go. Perfect. So I'm going to come a little bit closer here to him so I can feel him. Yes, exactly. Good. I'm going to put my hands behind my back and we're going to breathe together. Inhale, open, lift. Exhale, relax. Inhale, gaze down. Lift, open. Exhale, relax. And one more inhale. and exhale relax and now arkadi is going to gently find himself back into the tabletop position and good 
Since we are different both in length and in flexibility, it's important that you guys find a way to help each other out, yeah? And since we're standing, both of us, let's go into the big open hip opener, uh, but also the chest opener, the Anyanasana, this is called. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bring our left feet into each other. So if we come to the center of the mat, my love, left feet into each other. Very good. Opposite leg, we're going to draw it back. But first, we're going to grab hold and interlace the hands. Big foot big leg lifting the heel off the floor lifting the heel off the floor and pressing the knee a little bit forward making sure that we're not pushing forward or too much back you find a position that goes all the way from the knee down exactly making sure that the hips are forward pressing down through the back heel but not bringing the heel back lifting the arms up and here's a little bit of a balance trickster so you need to press the shoulders down lifting up and breathe <laughs> and see if we can come a little bit deeper good and now gently bring ourselves back arms in and give each other a little boost to come into center good i decide right leg center, center. exactly center. pressing center. back center. 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 <laughs> good finding that lifting that heel off the mat and exactly when you lift that heel off the mat it's a balance challenge right fixing that knee lifting the arms opening up pressing down through the shoulders nose up into the sky breathe and find a way to hold that balance together and the best way is to focus on your partner's eyes focus on your partner's eyes yes it's a good one <laughs> see if you can come a little bit more forward and bring yourselves arms down and back Mwah little kiss <laughs> good my friends and now from here we're now gonna come back into the floor we have a lot of standing partner teamwork poses for you but since we're doing a little bit shorter version here maximum half an hour we're focusing on the more nicer poses as you say it right so from here now I'm gonna go down into the floor, lying all the way down. This is the Schwinx. Elbows forward, opening up through the chest. And our cat is gonna do the Cobra. So he's gonna lie down on top of me, resting his legs and pushing down the hands, lifting himself up, good. So now you can press your feet down into the floor, my love. Press the toes down into the floor and you can get a little extension. So if you push your legs back, now, oh, there you go. Very nice. Looking so good. And just breathe together here. And gently releasing all the way down and relax. Mm -hmm. And you can choose to do this at least three times, but we are going to actually switch now. So I kind of going to bring himself up. Yep. Lying down on the mat. So legs a little bit closer, relaxing the feet here in and find your position. So you need to have your elbows in front of you. There you go. And now I'm going to have my hands out with his elbows, lying down, pressing my feet into and lifting myself up into the cobra. Opening up through the chest, keep pressing, elongating out through my heels. 
and he's going to make sure that he's not collapsing in his chest. So he needs to press his exactly. Now I could feel his scapula draw inwards. It's almost like he's squeezing my boobs here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Breathe. So he's pressing his elbows down into the floor. And when he's pressing the elbows down into his floor, he's engaging his scapula, pressing down the shoulders and gently relax. And yeah, you would love to stay in this position, but you're not allowed to. <laughs> we're gonna lift ourselves up and we're gonna sit facing each other in a really nice back bend here. So we're gonna sit next to each other. Exactly. And now if you come a little bit closer, actually, so I can bend my leg. So you need to push yourself forward. Exactly. So one leg is straight, other leg is going to bend. So it's bending into your uh, long leg. So from here, one leg is open to the sides, just as Arkadi has it. And the other leg now here is important. Arkadi has relaxed foot here. Yes, we want it constantly in activation. So we're going to give ourselves a little hug. We're going to look up, we're going to lift the arms, and we're going to bring ourselves up, looking into each other's eyes, trying not to feel that urge to kiss. <laughs> He's going to kiss me anyway. <laughs> Oh, deep breaths. Now gently come back. And now we're just going to bend back and lean back onto each other's legs. And here you can keep the connection with your partner. Deep breath. And take a deep breath, inhale, and gently bring yourself back. And let's switch. So we're just going to switch side like this. No, but we need to do the other side, otherwise it's going to be the same leg. <laughs> yeah, it gets a bit tricky sometimes. You need to use your brain. <laughs> All right, so you need to come forward a bit. Yep, so my leg is behind you, behind your tushy. Toes are pointing up, big open chest, grab hold, lift up and look to each other, hold it there. So you have a little twist here. You can see how much you can actually twist without hurting each other. If it feels good, deep breaths. Nice. And gently come back, relaxing into each other's leg. My love, you have the wrong leg. What do you mean? Oh. Yeah, it's okay. This happens. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> there you go. Ah. And relaxing. So it's good. As teamwork, you keep each other accountable. You help each other out. You stay focused without judgment, without putting pressure on each other. This is not what it's about. It's not about perfection. Remember, it's about connection. Toes pointing out on the stretched leg here. And gently, we're going to bring ourselves up. Good. All right. So now if you can scooch 
to the front of the mat and turn for me so you have your back towards me and come as close as you can. He's gonna scooch in. I'm gonna have my legs in an open butterfly or rather I would say like a upward facing dog frog, but yeah, like a butterfly, big open butterfly here for me. So now I'm gonna give him a big hug and he is gently gonna bend forward, trying to reach his toes. All right, are you ready my love? Gently. I'm going to help him here. Now, this is really interesting because we can actually help each other out. I can grab his thighs and I can press myself into him a little bit more. Maybe I need to scooch. There we go. And remember to hold the position completely still. All right, toes facing up. There you go. Good. Forward bends are really difficult. A lot of people are very stiff in the hamstrings, which is completely okay, but it's really important to do forward bends as well. Yes, good job, my love. Deep breaths. Without feeling frustration, we're using the breath to bring ourselves down. Now gently, I'm gonna offload him and we're gonna switch. So actually what Arkady doesn't know is that my hamstrings are my weakest point. So I am actually not that flexible in my hamstrings as I am in my hip flexors. So. I'm going to see here, he's going to open his legs and gently I'm going to come forward, see if he can find a way to bring a little more of that body weight onto me. So it's important here that you're not pulling me away, but you're instead pulling yourself over me. Exactly. So if you need to open your feet to do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> scooching. So if you put your hands on the outside, that's going to help me a little bit more to help me push. Deep breaths. And gently, I'm going to lift myself up. Good. So we have one more active pose, and that is the happy baby pose. So I'm going to, since I'm here already, you can sit up, my love. I'm going to go into happy baby pose. So I'm lying down, feet up, grabbing the inside of my heels opening up and now Arkady is going to find a frog position so knees out feet together and lying down so he also gets a little stretch and just deep breaths here holding the position It's okay to look into each other's eyes. Remind yourselves of why you fell in love with each other, why you connected. It's usually through the eyes. That's usually where it starts. And now gently my God is going to bring himself up. And 
We're going to switch. The quality stuff. Yes, of course. <laughs> Yoga for couples is a place with no hierarchy. It's no. Equality. We are taking turns. It's not about who is the stronger, who is the more flexible. It's not about actually that he is a man or I'm a woman or if there's two women or two men, this doesn't matter. It's about us connecting as a couple. All right, my love. So you're gonna grab hold of your feet, exactly opening out. And I'm gonna find my frog position, bringing my toes, my knees out and finding a way to put myself over him. Hello. Deep breaths. And while Akadi is putting focus into his hip flexors, I'm putting focus into maybe relaxing more in mine. He's like, no. <laughs> Deep breaths, my love. It's important that you listen to the partner. So if something feels a little bit too intense, you guys need to communicate that. Remember, it's not a competition. Yeah, Akadi just likes to draw. Deep breaths. One more breath. And I'm going to start by gently lifting myself off my partner. And he can relax. Good. And since he is lying down, I am actually going to be the nice one and let him relax into Shavasana. Shavasana means the dead man's pose. <laughs> uh, so completely relaxed posed. I'm going to find a way to make sure that he's completely relaxed here. Maybe taking off his glasses. So if you put your hands down, my love, good. I'm gonna focus on just giving my partner some touch, maybe some scalp massage. This is the last pose. Even though our bodies are not touching, the genital areas are not touching. This is one of the most intimate moments because there are so many neurons and cells and connections that goes through the top of your head that is combined with relaxation associated with deep connection. So if you can just allow your partner to feel completely relaxed on your legs. That would be awesome. <laughs> Maybe trace your fingertips on your partner's face forehead all the way out under the eyes under the chin keep relaxing baby mm -hmm. give the ear lobes a little bit of a massage there's a lot of tension usually around that area <laughs> not in the ear lobes but under so gently nicely and just work yourself down to the neck. Put your hands over your partner's shoulders and gently press them down. You will feel your partner opening up that chest a little bit more. Deep breaths. And end it with a little Spider-Man kiss.
And now it's time to switch. And what if? Let's imagine I'm not that good in sitting in this position. Then you can find an alternate uh, position that feels good for you. For example, you can sit, you can uh, put uh, a pillow between uh, your sit bones and your heels. You can sit in a more open position or exactly a cross-legged position if that feels good. So I, if we would have a pillow now, then I would suggest for Arkady to lie down on this pillow. So I'm going to be a good partner and help my partner so he can really focus his fingers into uh, my head. And I'm going to put this on him so he can. And now you will hear my beautiful voice <laughs> commenting on my actions. So we will start by finding a comfortable position, gently. And something to remember before you start doing any sort of yoga, I guess, a great tip would be to cut your nails, both on your feet and on your hands, not to hurt each other, and it will be more comfortable. And I will personally start by massaging the face. If you have a clean and dry room, then that would be the best start, I guess. Gently. And feel that love, the connection. Look at the facial features and remember why did you fell in love with this person? And with every touch, just try to go deeper and deeper to understanding. You can use all your fingers, starting on the sides of the head, going higher, higher, then as Monica mentioned, under the ears. Don't forget to relax yourself. You have to be tensed. Come back to the head. Slowly go down to the knee, to the chest. You can do something naughty. Then press on those shoulders. Now, if you're in sitting in a position that, like mine, okay, you might consider doing it like this. Whatever feels good for you. Remember to breathe. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Look into each other's eyes. And a Spider Man kiss, I don't think I'll be able to. <laughs> but there we go. Can. <laughs> and that's one of the best ways to end your yoga session with your partner, no matter how many poses you have done. Okay, because now you're both relaxed and you're ready to go into the bedroom and do something <laughs> really nice. Or go for a dinner or whatever. Whatever you guys are going through as a couple, make sure that you are doing this with the purpose of reconnecting. And if there is anything else that sparks, just go for it. Go for it. Flow with it. Remember, this is this is your sacred union. There is nothing wrong there. It's you and your partner reconnecting. It's the most natural thing in the world. So if you enjoyed this let us know please if you would like to see more let us know 
And if you are ready to jump into the world of yoga for couples, remember that it's a one-time purchase with 25 plus poses where you can use the poses to create your own program or you can go through all of the poses and do just the really crazy long and do you remember how long it yeah, took so us I do, I do, I do. it took us like two hours to do all of the poses combined well anyway thank you for being here friends take care and hopefully we will see you soon bye Oh,